Hi guys, welcome to another Python GIS tutorial here. So today we're going to cover how to create a new raster using GDAO. Before I get started on that, um, I want to put in a quick plug. If you haven't seen the poll on the community post page of the YouTube channel yet, please go take a look and fill that poll out. It's just one question about what kind of videos you like to see on this channel um, so it can direct me on how to provide content that's going to be helpful to you. So check out the open source options channel page on the community posts. There's a poll there. If you can fill it out, I'd appreciate it. Thanks guys. All right, let's get back to creating the raster. So you can see that I have um, all my code here from the previous two tutorials. I'm just going to start a new script for today and we're going to go from there. And so the first thing, let's go ahead and import GDAO. And if we're going to create a new raster, we're going to need to have a file name for that. So let's make a file name. Um, and I'm going to put mine in my temp folder. And we will call this, um, we're just going to call it new raster. And I'm going to make it a .tif. All right. So we've got that file name set up. All right, now GDAO uses what are called drivers in order to create, to create files. So the next thing we need to do is get the proper driver to create a TIFF file. So what I'll do here is I'm going to do um, driver and I'll name it TIFF so I know it's a TIFF driver. Oops. Equals GDAO.get driver by name and gtiff. That's the driver name. Okay? If you ever get lost on or you ever want to know what these driver names are, just come over to your internet and let's just Google GDAO drivers. Here we go. GDAO raster formats is what we're going to be after here. All right. And you have all these different formats. So here's my GTIFF. And this this uh, abbreviation at the beginning, that's going to be the name that you want to specify in your quotes for getting the driver by name. Okay. So anyway, that's how you can find all those. Just Google it. Uh, we'll head back over here now. All right. So now that I've got this driver, what I can do is I'm going to make a new raster data set. I'm going to do driver underscore tiff dot create. Okay. And so in create, I'm going to give it my file name. And you give it a few more arguments. I'm going to give it X size. Uh, let's make that 10. Let's give it a Y size. Let's also make that 10. So the X size is how many cells it is wide. The Y size is how many cells it is tall. I'm going to give it bands. We'll give it one. And then we also need to give it a data type. Um, so let me actually do a backslash enter here. And the data type is going to be E type equals GDAO. Um, and we need to go float 32. All right, so that should give us everything for this new data source. And you'll have to forgive me here. This is gdal.gdt quote 32, I think. GDT stands for GDAL data type. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. And we'll just see if we get any errors. And I'm going to just put a debug statement in here. When I say debug statement, I'm just going to print something out um, before it happens so that I know the script got to that point. And I'm going to type something after it happens so that I know it finished. And if it doesn't print this one, I know there's a, a problem in this line of code, which the error might tell me that anyway, but it's just kind of useful sometimes. So let's go ahead and click run. OK, 
Okay. Oh, I didn't put a parenthesis in there. So uh, that could be a problem. Oh, and then let's just um, let's do raster created. And then let's just uh, click delete new DS. And that will just make sure that it closes and we can look at it in our file explorer. So let's go ahead and click run. Rest created. It looks like it's done. So if I go to my browser in my temp folder, I should have a new rest sure enough, right there. Now let's go ahead and add that to QGIS. And it doesn't have a coordinate system, so I'm just going to click cancel. It doesn't matter. Let's look at my layers. Here's my new raster. You can see it just has values of zero. But if I open up the information here, um, negative 10, 10. If I take a look at the dimensions, 10, 10. That's what I shot for. Perfect. So I've got that raster in there now. And I have it created. So it's really as simple as that to create a new raster. Now we're going to cover a couple of other things here because we also need to assign a projection. We need to assign a, a geotransform. Uh, because we don't know where in space this is located yet or how to describe the coordinates within it. So, now that we've created a raster, let's go do something just a little more complicated. So I'm going to remove this from QGIS. And now you'll notice that I have this raster in here the, that we downloaded from a previous video. Um, and I want to just copy that one. Not copy the data, but I just want to copy it, and I want to make a raster the exact same size as that with the exact same projection as that. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and we'll get rid of this print statement here. We'll get rid of this print statement here, and I'm just going to copy the file name of an existing raster. And you can do this with any raster you have, just make sure you put your file name in there. Okay, and so I'm going to do elevation. This is in the temp elevation folder, and let's name this NED10M.tiff, and so we'll just call this uh, FN2, and so we're going to do DS equals uh, GDAL.open FN2, so it's going to open a data source, and we're going to name it geotransform equals DS get geotransform okay hopefully this is looking familiar to you um, because we've done this in a previous video all right so now we have here is we have this data source um, we have the geotransform for that data source now let's go ahead and get the projection for that data source and so we do that with we'll do proj equals ds dot get projection all right, okay, so now we've got our new data source, and let's um, change the X size. So we'll change this to ds.raster X size. We're going to have to change where we end this line. So let's put in a backslash enter there, and equals ds.raster y size. All right. We can leave bands at 1. We can leave the E type as a float 32. Okay. So I'm just going to hit an enter here. So we've got uh, create a new raster data set. And I'm using data set and data source interchangeably here. Apologize for that. I think for the rasters they call the data set. In OGR, the, the vector counterpart to GDAL, I think they're the vector layers call it data source. I apologize if I'm getting confusing on you here. Um, okay, so let's go get the geo transform and projection of an existing raster. Let's, uh, I'm just commenting this so that we can kind of keep things straight. So new raster file name and existing raster file name. Okay. All right, and then we're going to 
open existing raster. All right, so hopefully you're caught up with me here. Um, and then get a GDAL driver to use for raster creation. Okay, so there we go. So now we've created this raster. Now we want to set the geo transform. And then we're going to set the projection. Okay. So we've got new ds dot set geo transform got. Okay, and now we can do new ds dot set projection proj all right okay so that's going to set up everything so what i should get now is the properties for this ned 10 meter should be the same as the properties for this new raster all right so let's go ahead and let's click run and we should be done there i didn't get any errors let's go to browser let's add our new raster in the qgis Go to layers. Okay. I'm just going to drag this down over here and slide it over so that we can see what's going on. Let me uh, just pan this over. And then there we go. Okay. So look at this. We've got our old raster, or our original raster. We have this new one that has values of zero in it. And let's just go ahead and check our properties. Let's make sure things line up. So this is for our original raster, 1065, 1418. Okay, so just keep an eye on that. Um, here's our extent. Just take a look at these two numbers. The top left should be the same. So we've got 447950, 4622019. Okay, and then we've got our pixel size is 10 and minus 10. All right, so we should have a new raster. Our new raster should have those exact same things. So let's go ahead and click cancel, and we'll try to remember those and open up the new raster. Okay, so look, these are the same: 449750, 4622, 19, 1065, 1418, and then 10 and negative 10. All right. So look at that. So they line up perfectly. We should now just create a raster that, that overlays that. Okay. So, perfect. So that is how you can create a new raster using GDAO. And what we'll do is in a, a future video coming up here, we'll talk about how we can now use these two rasters and start doing some operations with them. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and let me know. And if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. Also, if you have time, don't forget to go take that poll on the community post page of the Open Source Options YouTube channel. Thanks, and have a great day.